I, I often am put in this unenviable position of not being Paul Farmer. <laughs> I'm still not Paul Farmer, but I have to say, because of the father's um, love of singing, I can tell you I'm a better singer than Paul Farmer. And perhaps if I become inspired, I will sing tonight. Um, it is really an honor for me to be here um, to replace Paul tonight. It's especially an honor because of the work that we have done together, Partners in Health with Fong Jose. And I think it was just last summer that Anne and Gautier were up in Conge and they were filming, doing some filming. And I really fell in love with Gautier. And I have to say that not what you think. <laughs> I really felt like we were kindred spirits. I did. I, I felt like we were brother and sister. And, um, but you know, for me, the last 12 years have been a real deep love affair with the people of Haiti. And I think there are very few among us who know Haiti who haven't fallen in love with the spirit of the Haitian people. And, and I know that this happened to Paul many, many years ago. And when I first started at Partners in Health now 12 years ago, I, I had already worked in Africa, and I was planning to head back there, and I met this guy, Paul Farmer, and Partners in Health was tiny. There. I was the first doctor they ever hired. Uh, Paul was already a full professor. Jim Kim was still moonlighting at the Brigham to pay his salary. Um, and I said, well, I'll work for you guys for six months or something, and then I'm going back to Africa, and that was 12 years ago. <laughs> and most of that is because of Haiti. I mean, as much as Paul, is a friend and a teacher. Haiti, for many of us, is the greatest teacher and the greatest inspiration. Um, and I will just start with one small comment about positive, positivity in Haiti, which is, for some of you non-Haitians out there, you may not know that Haiti is the only country in the world with a last name. Say, <laughs> are from our team at Partners in Health and our gratitude to working together with Juan Jose. But Paul spent, sent this specific message. I am sorry not to be with you tonight celebrating this great organization, Juan Jose. On Friday, Partners in Health beloved co-founder Tom White passed away. And tonight I am mourning with his family and celebrating his life, which paved the road to a better life for so many in Haiti and throughout the world. Chemin la vie All of you gathered here today honoring Fon Jose are also honoring the life of Tom White with your commitment to the poor and to the most vulnerable. We share this work, PIH, Fon Jose, BRAC, and many of you here. We share the desire to break the cycle of poverty and disease and the knowledge that we cannot do this without investments in women, in families, in, in the building of human capacity. So Paul really sends his deep regrets, but I know that he understands that all of you know that we're all connected. And I think this is really the message of Von Jose is the interconnectedness of people. And in your comments about, you know, it seems sometimes like people never had a mother or a grandmother to teach them, I think we've all seen the intergenerational effects of poverty. The, the fact that those very grandmothers uh, may have lived with malnutrition, may have not reached their full potential, were driven off their land by some tragedy, and these intergenerational effects. This is not just bad decisions by one person. This is often a very deeply rooted problem. Um, as Chief Medical Officer of Partners in Health now for, for almost 12 years, I count myself as among those who 
uh, for whom Haiti has served as a great teacher, and for whom the indomitable spirit of the Haitian people has provided a constant source of humility and learning. Haiti has wisdom, wealth, music, God, and passion for all of those who will listen. But what we've seen is few will listen. Because the model of the de development is often one of directives, one of telling people what to do. But those who listen to Haiti and to the Haitian people are those who are, are able to, in solidarity, improve the life of Haitians with Haitians together. I think the strong bond between Partners in Health and Fon Jose is around listening and discernment. It is not just that we love the idea of helping those who are less fortunate. It's that we listen and make community with people who are impoverished but not poor. The forces of, of society and of history have impoverished the Haitian people, but Haitian people are not poor. that I think are important to mention. It is not Fan Cose, Sevrain Gautier, it is not Fan Cose who decides what women need. It is the community itself that decides. It is a process that Anne has described to me as community participatory wealth ranking that was brought from Brack, but is incredibly important to understand in terms of listening and discernment. It is not Fon Cose, it is the people of the community who decide who's at the bottom of this ladder and who maybe can't even get to the bottom of the ladder, who really just need social protection. Many will praise the strength of the concept of microfinance without that listening and discernment. And this is why we feel so connected to Brack and to Fon Cose and this wonderful partnership we have because we have seen, and Paul will talk about the failed piggery project and the failed project to you know, make art. And we have so many failed business projects at Sami La Sante, we, we could write a very multi-volume book on it. <laughs> but now we understand why. We understand why, and I'll get to that in a minute. So we have learned so much with Fon Cose about why some people really can't make it. And again, I get to deliver a couple of messages that, that are different. Credits, loans, debt, micro or otherwise, are not accessible to the poorest of the poor, the destitute, or the super poor. Those who have never held a bill in their hand, as Anne once told me, those who are impoverished or it made impoverished by medical bills, which is the number one cause of impoverishment throughout the world, by the way, in Haiti included, inclusive. But there is one other thing. Make no mistake. These people know about debt. Most of the very poor in the world are deeply in debt. The idea of debt is not new. They are threatened within inches of their life by debt. By debt at exorbitant interest rates, by debt by, from very nefarious characters. And we see this over and over again as crops get destroyed and people get put in more and more debt. It isn't that these families don't know debt. The debt they know is killing them. So there are three parts of Chemin La Vigne that are very, very critical to us in our partnership with Fon Jose. The first part is this community participatory wealth ranking. The fact that we are working together with, with, with Fon Jose in community, working with the community to decide who is really at the bottom of this ladder, who needs more help. The second is this notion 
that even if you're doing great in the program, if you don't have access to free medical care as a basic human right, you will be impoverished. that everyday life indebts those on the catastrophic margin of poverty. Whether it's funeral expenses, whether it's school expenses, whether it's somebody needing to, you know, to transport their goods and, and they lose all of them, those things put people in debt. And so Chemin La Vimeu not only does all these wonderful things we, we talked about, but they address these three critical problems that we have seen at Partners in Health over and over again result in failure of our programs, not failure of the clients. Failure of our programs. This only can be understood through listening and discernment. People understand that if you just assume people have had, never had any debt, you're making a mistake. All you have to do is ask. How deep in debt are you? They'll tell you. Believe me. This is akin to slavery, debt bondage. And many of the poorest of the poor throughout the world live in debt bondage. 